Hi, Linear Algebra students. So this is the second out of the three videos that I will do to, um, to catch up for section 1.4. And I just need to let you know that I, I changed my mind on one thing, but um, not the other. So I will ask you to include this in your lecture notes, but not your lecture notes of this week, the lecture notes of the week after. Okay, so I'm gonna remind you uh, afterwards, like once you, we get to uh, the next week, but so you know, okay? So you don't have to submit this as part of this week's lecture notes, but for next week's lecture notes, you have to fill it in, okay? All right. So here, uh, what I want to do is I want to compute the, mat the matrix vector product first using the definition and second using the column, uh, the row column rule that we saw in the last video. Okay. Uh, so using the definition of the matrix vector product, remember what you need to do is, uh, so this is the vector A1, this is the vector A2, and this is the vector A3. And remember, you have uh, the corresponding X1, X2, and X3. Okay? So in other words, you have like 0, 1, or actually, I will, I will start color coding right away. So 0, 1, then we have 2, negative 5, and negative 1, 3. Uh, multiplied by uh, 4, yeah, I'm not going to color code this one, 4, 3, 7. It's a, it's a dangerous association to do, but the idea is really, it's going to be 4 times the vector A1, so 4 times the vector 0, 1, okay, plus 3 times the vector 2, negative 5, Okay, plus 7, so this 7 right here, 7 times the vector negative 1, 3. And then you compute component by component, okay? So uh, the trick is, as I said, I was using my two fingers. So 4 plus 6, 10. Minus 7, 3. Then second component, 0. Minus 15. Plus 21, so that's going to be 6. All right. So this is the result using the definition of the matrix vector product. Now using the row column rule. Okay, so uh, let's write the same matrix. And now I won't color code it because uh, if I do, it's going to be a little bit confusing. What I will color code, I think, are going to be the operations. So four, three, seven. So, um, okay, what I'm going to color code is to get the first row of the of uh, of the resulting product, you take the first row of the matrix A with the corresponding components. So in other words, you're doing one, one times four plus two times three minus one times seven, right? So you literally just go uh, four plus six minus seven. And then to get the second row, which I will highlight in red this time, you take the second row of A and you also multiply by the numbers that are over here. So it's going to be 0 times 4, so these two together, then negative 5 times 3, time, uh, plus 3 times 7. Obviously, um, obviously, then you uh, you multiply it out and you get the result. So four plus six, ten minus seven. That's going to be three for the first component, 
and then 0 minus 15 plus 21, that's going to be 6. So notice that we're uh, getting the same result as we should, right? It's just two ways of computing the same thing. And um, if you would like, let me know in the comments of this video which of the two methods you actually prefer, which one speaks the most to you. That is interesting to me as a teacher. So uh, here goes. This is the end of the second video. Like how to, uh, what are the comparison between the two methods? I hope this helped. In the third video and the last one, we're going to prove two important properties of matrix product, uh, matrix vector multiplication. See you there.